Hi, this is Ron again. Uh, if you remember from our last video section, we talked about programming and getting into the edit mode. I'm going to take it a step further here and show you how to actually cook and develop a cook setting on the oven itself. So what I'm going to be doing is going to the screen and in my main group I have pizza. So I'm just going to stick with that pizza. Open that up and I've got a blank spot right at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. When I select that, I only have the, uh, the settings available to me, so I'm going to expand the screen with my top right arrow, which gives me the access to the naming properties. So I've got that blank space there, but six I'm putting in a 16-inch uh, raw dough pizza, that's exactly what I'm going to put in, is a 16-inch fresh pizza. Hit my check mark arrow on the bottom, say that's good, and now it's named. I'm only going to use a one event because most everything can be cooked in one event. So what that means is that for 100% of the time, I'm going to have a single airflow. Pretty simple. I think you'll find that it's a great way to do it yourself. So we just take events two, three, and four and make those zero. Now in doing so, I need to make my first event equal 100. Well, that makes sense. 100% of the time, I want it to run one airspeed. Now that that's done, I'm going to select an airspeed. I've got low, medium, and high, as I talked about in the last programming sequence. Well, I probably want it high because I want some browning and I want it to happen relatively quickly. So I'm going to go with the number, yeah, let's call it 80%. I think that's going to be pretty good for us. I lock that in. Now remember, I talked about if you don't know the time, we've got the ability, we've got a window here. We're going to be able to use our eyes and our senses to actually look at this product. So it doesn't matter really if you don't know the time, just stick an arbitrary number that exceeds what you think it might be. So in this case, I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock. Some of you are gonna say, wow, that's pretty fast, and it is. So I'm gonna hit my 60 button five times, which gives me five minutes. And now I'm ready to load that product and bake it. So here's my pizza. It's on a 16 inch screen. It is a raw dough pie, okay? Sauce, cheese, pepperoni, real simple. And I'm gonna place it in the oven. Simply open the door. Slide it in, leave it, and I'm going to hit my cook key right here. Now if you notice something, it's going to be kind of interesting. As soon as I hit that, that rack starts to move back and forth. That's traveling about an inch or so to start to, to move that under the jet place to get a nice even bake on that product. We're going to keep an eye on that timer because I, I know five minutes is going to be a little bit much for this. Well, we'll see what it actually ends up shaking out to be. Okay, so we're almost three minutes into the cook cycle, and that pizza's looking pretty darn good. So I'm gonna stop that with two minutes remaining. That means that my entire cook cycle, starting out with five with two remaining, is gonna be three. So I'll adjust that time on my screen, hit save, and that setting's done for this item. That looks beautiful. So place this off. Stop that entirely. And it brings me back to my screen. Like I said, I'm gonna take this and put three minutes on there. Since we know that's what it took, I'm gonna hit save. My product development is done for the 16 inch fresh dough pizza. And there it is. Of course this pizza looks great, but everybody's always gonna to wanna to be concerned. Well, what does it look like on the bottom? Well, let's take a look. Let's take this piece, flip that, and this piece. Flip beautiful bake across the bottom of the pie. Beautiful. I'm very happy with that setting. 